Is it too late to get the flu shot in January? Family physician with Help Plus Associates, Dr. Orville Nemar, joins us, and he's going to clear up any fears we might have about the flu and the flu shot. Good morning, Doc. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning, morning time. Dear, yeah. Now, I want, Doc, when is flu season, Doc? When is it? All right. For us here in the Northern Hemisphere, flu season is September through to about April. Woo! That's a long time. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, so, so when is the best time then? If I know it's September to April, the best time to get it, would it be before September or maybe in the, in the middle of it when it peaks? Yeah, the ideal time is to get it somewhere between September and October mm -hmm. so that you have the coverage lasting through the full, what is almost six months of the season. Mm -hmm. We tend to see a peak somewhere in February. Uh -huh. So we're not yet out of the woods as far as um, the season is concerned. Mm -hmm. And bear in mind that when you get the vaccine, it takes about two weeks before you get the maximal effect from it mm -hmm. in terms of your body's ability to resist okay. um, the virus. So, yeah, you're running right on the edge here now if you want to beat that uh, mm -hmm. February peak. Right. So, so even though I'm in January now, um, it's, still, it's yes. still a good time for me to get yes, the flu yes, shot. Valid. Um, a lot yes. of people, uh, when, when we say get the flu shot, they're like, why? W what are the benefits of me getting the flu shot? What are some of the benefits? Um, the flu can range from a mild to severe disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, severe meaning even causing death. So in this flu season, the data out of the U.S., for example, says that there have been somewhere between twenty and 50,000 deaths wow. attributed to the flu. So by no means is it an innocuous um, illness. Mm -hmm. For persons who are at the extremes of life, over 65 or under two, they're at high risk. And the persons who have, um, you know, lung diseases, um, asthmatics, uh, people have a history of, say, bronchitis, people with heart disease, people with diabetes, they're also at higher risk from the complications of the flu. Mm -hmm. I was about to ask you, when we say get the flu shot, who should get the shot? Um, from what you've said, I guess there are more, some people are more susceptible because of age, I guess comorbidities. Right, that's correct. So the flu shot is licensed from um, age six months all the way through to the, you know, the extremes of life. Mm -hmm. And of course, as I mentioned, the persons at high risk, persons with the comorbidities, the asthmatics, persons who have heart disease, persons who are diabetic, uh, persons who have had previous lung disease. These are the persons who are at high risk of getting complications and are high targets for the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So I want to be...